Hey guys, welcome back to another video of Power Apps. So this is part three of claim request. In my previous video, we have created this new claim screen. So using this new claim screen, user can create a claim request. And this claim form is connected with SharePoint list and all claim we are storing in SharePoint list and that is employee claim SharePoint list. And this is the custom SharePoint list. So if you didn't watch my previous video, then before proceeding, watch first. And if you didn't subscribe my channel, then please requesting you subscribe my channel as well so that you can get my latest videos. So here you can see uh, the form is almost similar. Only the thing is header is not available. So this header, we will create a component and why we are going to create a component because component are reusable things. So we can reuse this header component in all the screen that we will create in future. Okay. So here, uh, this is my header. And for this header, I have to put some width and height. Okay. So for the responsive, if we will say that, uh, you know, the height and width should be responsive. For that, what I will do, uh, I will go and uh, say max app dot width comma app dot min screen width. Okay. Why I am doing this? The reason is because if user will open this application either in tablet or either in phone, this should be responsive. Okay, and uh, I'm going. I'm not going to uh, you know uh, uh, do all the comp all the uh, control as a responsive, but uh, obviously if you control, I will let you know how we can make as responsive. If you want, you can watch my next video that I will create completely for responsiveness. App dot here is height comma app dot min screen height and what should be height the height of this component you can see is uh, I think divide by 9 okay so let me do it divide by 9 great okay and the color for this fill look like this okay Great. Now the next thing is I will add a insert a home icon here. So home, home, home. This is home icon. Okay. And uh, this home icon, the fill should be white. Okay. Now it looks similar. Okay. Now the next I will do insert a another icon, add icon, and the next is circle. This circle. Okay. So this icon and the circle I will do a uh, do in a group and that group icon should be up bring to front okay all right now the height and width of this uh, should be Height should be suppose 64 and width should be 4. Okay. And uh, the X should be 66 and Y should be suppose 70. 
सेवेंटीन But this should be at this corner. So the position of this group, I will make one two two nine. Great. And this should not be. This is little bit up. Make it up. Okay. And for this icon color is fine for the circle i will go on home and make it white okay great now if i will drop this on my screen go on custom and uh, i will change the name of this component as header Okay, go on a screen and add this component here. Great. Now, if I will run this, you can see we are getting the result. Now, few things I have to do. The first thing, I need to add a label here. Okay. And that label... that label will be or uh, the text will be header dot actually we have to create a property okay so i will go and create a custom property here new custom property and this property will be a uh, screen header and this will be a text property so the value of this property I will pass from the screen. Okay. Now I will go and I will say header dot screen header. Okay. All right. Now uh, one more thing. Uh, you know I have to set a height and width for this. So the height will be. parent dot height and the width should be you know uh, something like uh, uh, so that is actually we can fix it 494 okay, and this is also you can do a uh, responsive okay y equals to 12 so i'll make it zero okay fine now a uh, few more things i have to do that uh, create a another go on the property and create a another custom property and that will be new screen new screen okay and this will be a property type as a screen that is the input and instead of text this will be a screen okay click on create okay. now uh, on this group and here will be a property that is on select property header dot because you know uh, what, what we need to do uh, basically once user will click uh, click on this button then uh, it uh, should navigate on the new screen okay so that will be header dot our custom property and custom property was new screen okay 
now the second is home then we have to again create a new property home screen okay and this also be a screen type click on create click on this home and go on select and this will be header dot home screen okay so now the things are ready go on this text and uh, here i will do few things the first i will make it in center and uh, this will be bold and this will be 20 font size and i will make uh, this color as white okay now i will go on this screen and you will see header one okay this header having three property here okay go under corner and say new claim screen okay now you will see new claim screen okay and here i will provide this is my uh, new screen so new new claim request okay and home screen home screen will be our screen where all the record all the claim requests will be visible okay so for this all claims okay this name is already available oh we have added this name already then i will delete it so here is all claim okay but on all claim ah uh, what i will do i will go in custom and i will this header here as well okay and i will add a label for now we will create this all claim in my next video for now I will add as all claim. Now, here we having this header and we have to provide the value here. All claims. Okay. Now, if I will run the application, then you can see this is our header. And once I will click on this home button, That should be navigate. Let me check this. At a dot home screen. What we are doing wrong. Oh, that should be navigate actually. Navigate. Okay. And this also should be navigate great now if i will go and click on this run button you can see all claim okay again i will go on new screen is not working okay, let me check this why it's not working I think I have to navigate header dot new screen circle header dot new screen and the value of this is screen type cool then why it's not navigating let me check this
new claim request that should be navigate new claim request and here is all claims okay let me refresh it again go on home click on oh actually the problem is uh because we have not added anything here as well okay so here all claims and the value of this new screen should be new claim request okay and here home screen value should be all claims great now it will navigate okay click on this and click on here click on this okay and you can see this form as well all right so this is uh the screen that we want to achieve and this is the component now whenever we will add a new screen we can add this component and easily uh, we can get this home and uh, uh, you know screen name and this add button here but the thing is we have to provide the input property value means custom property values here right so i hope you like this video and if you like this video then please subscribe my channel thanks for watching my video have a nice day bye bye stay tuned stay connected we'll see you in the next video